3.5 number 29, we are going to find an equation of the tangent line to this curve at this point. To find an equation of a tangent line, we need two things. The first is the slope, the second one is the point. Let's work out the slope first. Slope of the tangent line is the derivative, so we have to look at this equation and then take the derivative of this. And we have to do this by implicit differentiation because the y is not isolated. Right, let's go through this. Derivative of x squared, that will give you 2x. And you add derivative y squared, it's 2y, and you multiply by the derivative y, which is dy dx. And this is equal to derivative of this. Notice that we have one thing right here raised to the second power. So what we have to do is we have to use the power rule first. Bring the power to the front, and then the inside will stay the same. And then you subtract 1 to the exponent, so it's like 1 right here. doesn't really matter with the 1. The inside will stay the same, so you write down 2x squared plus 2y squared minus x. And now, you look at what's the inside function, which is this part. Because of the chain rule, we are going to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, let's do it. Derivative of um, 2x squared is 4x, and derivative of positive 2y squared is plus 4y dy dx. Right? y is a function of x, so you have to multiply it by dy dx. And the derivative of minus x is going to be minus 1. And so far this is what we have, and this equation will give you the derivative. And now, here is the key. You don't need to solve for dy dx. If you do that, um, it's just going to be really hard because you have to multiply this out. It's going to be really hard. Well, the point is right here, we have 0, 1 half. If this is the point, then that means the x value is equal to 0, and the y value will be 1, I mean 1 half. So x is 0, y is 1 half. We can just plug in these two numbers into x and y, and then we can work it out, the equations, much easily. So by looking at this equation, wherever I see the x, I'm going to substitute 0. Wherever I'm going to see y, I'm going to substitute 1 half, and let's do it. Here I will get 2 times 0, for x plus 2 times y, y is 1 half, so you have 2 times 1 half like this, and then you have the dy dx equals to this 2, and then parentheses, 2 times 0 squared, and then plus 2 times 1 half square, and then minus 0 times 4 times 0 plus 4 times y is 1 half, and then we have the dy dx, and then we have the minus 1 at the end. So, so far this is what we have. After you plug in 0 for x, 1 half into y. And as you can see, 2 times 0 is 0, and then this part, 2 times 0 squared, this is also 0, and then minus 0 doesn't matter, 4 times 0 doesn't matter, so that's pretty sweet. <laughs> and then... We're just going to work out the rest of the numbers. 2 times 1 half is 1, so you have dy dx right here. And dy dx is going to be the slope of um, the curve at this point, right? So dy dx, you can write this as m if you would like, but I will keep it as dy dx. So that will be equal to, I have the 2 right here, open the parentheses. Inside here, be really careful with this. This part, you worked out. Um, this is 2, and then you worked out 1 half square, which is going to be 1 over 4. And 2 times 1 over 4 is going to be 1 over 2, right? 1 half. So this right here is inside of this parentheses that goes right here. The result is just 1 half. And then right here, we have, this is, this is 0, and then 4 times 1 half is 2, and then you have the dy dx, and then you have the minus 1 right here. Right. And let's see if there's anything that we can do. And there is the 2 times 1 half, you know, they cancel out, so you have 1. And altogether, on the left hand side, you have dy dx. And that's equal to this is 1 times this, so it's just 2 dy dx minus 1. And I need to solve for dy dx because that will be the slope. So let me subtract the 2 dy dx on both sides. 
so dy dx and also minus 2 uh, dy dx here and they will cancel but on the right hand on the left hand side this is the same one dy dx right so what we're going to end up is 1 dy dx minus 2 dy dx we have negative 1 dy dx and that's equal to negative 1 and after this I can divide both sides by negative 1 so I can you know, cancel the negative and I will get my dy dx which is the slope let me write this m now is the slope dy dx is equal to negative 1 over negative 1 which is 1 okay and now the point that we have is 0 1 half and the slope is equal to 1 so I'm just going to do right here the point is 0 comma 1 half uh, let me just just write it down right here 0 comma 1 half and then the slope is equal to 1 so we can use y minus y1 it's equal to m times x minus x1 and we just plug in the numbers we have y minus y1 is the 1 half equals to m is the 1 times the parentheses x is just x x1 right here is 0 so you minus 0 and altogether this is going to be y minus 1 half equals to 1 times this which is just x we can add 1 half on both sides we can isolate the y it's equal to x plus 1 half and here we go this is the equation of the tangent line